Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuir. In this class, we will do some gate bits. For better understanding of these bits, please watch our concepts, explanations, videos and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's bits, these are the bits we will solve. Gate 2009, this is the bit given in gate 2009. S tends to A, S, A or B, S, B or A or B. This is the context-free grammar given. The language generated by the above grammar over the alphabet A comma B is set off. So they have given some options. What's this language is showing? What's this context-free grammar is showing? Which language it is supporting? We already discussed about this grammar. S tends to A, S, A. S tends to B, S, B. Or you can stop using B or A. Whenever there is a A, it is going to check A. If it is B, going to check B. What's this? This is a palindrome. But here we don't have an epsilon. So that's why we, we have to stop using A or B. Means we can check using a even or this is not this is an odd palindrome even palindrome is not possible with this because we don't have epsilon so that's why it, it all odd length palindromes are possible using this given context free grammar that is the option option b is the option Coming to the next one, gate 2016. This is given in gate 2016. Language L1 is defined by the grammar S1 tends to A, S1, B or Epsilon. We have explained many times what this language is. This is A power N and B power N. So this is a context free language. Language L2 is defined by the grammar S2 tends to A, B, S2 or Epsilon. After checking for A, B, again calling S2. A, B, again calling S2. A, B, again calling S2. Means we are repeating A, B. Or we can stop using Epsilon. This can be written as A, B whole star. So this is a regular language. We can write the uh, regular expression for this. Uh, so uh, the question is consider the following statements. L1 is a regular. L2 is regular. Which of the following uh, is true? L1 is not true. L2 is uh, true. P, Q in statements of p is false and q is true so the option is c now coming to the next one gate 2006 it is given in let l1 is equal to 0 power n plus 1 m this is bit complex to understand so think about it properly 0 power n plus 1 m 1 power n 0 power m so let's see n comma m greater than or equal to 0 you take any m value so this is a context free language why it is context free language you take any m and m value n plus m means for suppose whenever you find zeros push on to the stack push on to the stack here we have considered that n is equal to 2 m is equal to 2 push on to the stack whenever you found once one you pop the zeros from the stack you pop the zeros from the stack. After that, if you find zeros, pop the zeros from the stack. If it is empty, we are having n plus m, uh, 1 plus one power n or 0 power m. It is possible. That's why it is context-free language. Now coming to the second one, L2 is equal to 0 power n plus m, 1 power n plus m, 0 power m. You take any m value. Here we have taken n is equal to 2, m is equal to 2. Whenever you find zeros, push on to the stack. Whenever you found ones, pop from the stack. Pop from the stack. So if these two are equal, there is nothing in the stack. Stack will be empty. What happens? Then you, there is no way to check for m value. There is no way to check for m value. 0 power m is not able to, we cannot find the means uh, let's take an example 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 if you take m is equal to 2 here we are having three zeros how cook how, how we will count that uh, there are m zeros should be counted how we count that uh, there is no chance to count that uh, that's why this is not a context free language the second one is not a context free language third one is also not a context free language it is very similar to that uh, zero a power n b uh, uh, let's take that n plus m is equal to k 0 power k 1 power k 0 power k this is similar as a power k b power k c power k which is not a context free language uh. so that's why it is not a so l2 l3 are not context free languages uh. that's why the output is uh, d l2 and l3 which of the following languages is not context free language so l2 and l3 are not uh, context free languages uh. 
Hope you understand the concepts of this gate bit, sir. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.